This video is for everyone who is stuck manifesting the details, taking the long way around. Remember, how you manifest your desire is none of your business. So if you want this thing and you find yourself getting stuck manifesting the path up to it, stop, relax, let it go. The reason I'm talking about this day is because I fell into this trap just this morning. I was thinking about some larger goals that I would like to manifest. And the concept of freedom came up, right? So I want to manifest freedom. And to me, this took the form of money. I want more money so that I can have the freedom to, to do whatever I want, to, to make choices. Do you see the trap there? Do you see where I went wrong? I already have that freedom. I don't need the money. The money is just a physical representation of our ability to manifest, our innate ability to manifest. So what I did for a moment this morning was fall into the trap of material thinking, of thinking in terms of limitation, in terms of lack. Because I think that is pretty common. It's a pretty common goal. People want beard hair in their mouth. <laughs> People want to experience freedom, right? And in this world, this time that we have chosen to live in, freedom is often represented by wealth because the more money you have, the more secure you feel, the less stress you have to grind and survive. It takes you out of survival, right? That's basically what money does. It takes you out of survival and it gives you options. It gives you choice, freedom. But we already have that freedom. You know, really we do. But we make excuses for ourselves. Either because we're too scared to take the leap, because it means the old self has to die, right? The comfortable life, the safe, comfortable life that sucks and that makes you miserable, that has to die. And that's harder to let go than we may think. Or simply we, we fall into thinking about lack that money is limited, that resources are limited, and that we don't already have the wealth of energy. Because remember, money is energy. And this doesn't just apply to money. Let's say you wanna get the girl or the guy, but you've got it stuck in your head that you need to become buff before you do it. Do you really? Isn't that just an unnecessary step? An unnecessary detail that you're focusing on? Because here's the thing, the way I see it, there are two obvious possibilities. You wanna get the girl. So manifest the girl and you, you'll either find that you didn't need to be buff to begin with or if you do, it'll happen anyway. And you won't have to worry about it. Remember, this is, this is, this is all just piling on obstacles and distance and time between you and your desire. You're proving to yourself that you don't believe it's possible. And remember what we've talked about in the past. Resistance is the manifestation killer. And that's what it is. You're resisting 
your manifestation, your belief that it is possible. And resistance increases the time and distance between you and your manifestation. It makes so much sense, it rhymes. <laughs> so cut straight to the point. Manifest what you want. It is none of your business how you're going to get it. The funds will come. The body will come. The opportunities will come. And I promise you, the moment you let it go and stop worrying, it'll sneak up on you. And it's not a feeling of, of like ecstatic excitement. It's like a, a quiet, oh yeah, I did do that. I can't, I can't stress this enough. I know, I know in the moment it doesn't feel like it. It feels like you're failing. But the more you give in to that feeling, the more resistance you're piling into your desire and the greater the time and distance gets between you and your desire. The moment you let it go, you detach from it. You remove the emotional charge connected to it. It will find you. All right, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest.